I usually play some Josh Stone to start, to start, start it off. Yeah, well, why don't you play some Josh Stone now? So I'll play some of that. But I'll just just mention a bit about um, reggae. Reggae just seems to have crept, crept in. Right. So the show might have started around R&B. But I think... You see, I think it's... Um, Devon is a bit isolated from a lot of these musical bases, isn't it? I mean, it's not... It's not in Jamaica, and it's not. Uh, mm, it's agree. not in North America, I is it? I agree with that. Yeah, mm. Devon. No. And I think Josh Stone sort of started out uh, with Motown Atlantic Records, that uh, relations left lying around the house, and um, the reggae's come through moving as far, as far away as Bristol. I know she goes all around the world, but I think we should just explore what happens if you go as far as going from Devon towards Bristol. Why have you ever tried to get an interview with Josh Stone? Is he awfully interested? Well, I'm awfully interested, you yes. get an interview with her. Well, yeah, but she's she's very busy. There's many, There's about 87 countries she hasn't been to. Well, I think you should try. Well, we could try. We'll just ask this question, though, because it's a very general question. What happens if you are brought up in Devon and then go to Bristol? Yeah, Do you well, become more aware of reggae music? Well, I don't know. Is it, I mean, she could answer the question, or anybody could answer the question. Yes. Yes. Just to, just answer the question, please, ladies and gentlemen. Have you been to Bristol? Did you become more reggae influenced? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We want to know. So let us know. Put it. You can put it in a sound clip, but put a link to W E N O T N O on on Twitter, somewhere or another. And um, this this is another track from What for Your Soul. <laughs> 